again YouTube, it's Darren from CodyTVBoxes.co.uk Just going to do uh, a quick video on VPN uh, connection and the company that I use personally. Nothing to do with me, this isn't to do with the company, this is just a personal recommendation. So, um, I'll put a link in the description to the company that I use as I say. Please, no emails or anything like that, absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with me. If you've got any problems, speak to them directly. Um, the company's PrivateInternetAccess.com um, This I found this is one of the cheapest and the service they provide is very very good. You can actually use five devices at any one point connected to the internet, meaning if your wife, your sons, daughters, etc., yourself are obviously out and about, places like Witherspoons, airports, McDonald's, anywhere like that, and they're making a connection, you really need to be using your VPN um, because it's very very easy for people to get into your system. Um, so really it's it, for the box, I mean we're well, sort of steering away from what you're going to use it for on your box. I mean on a box it's going to make a secure connection um, and stop your ISP looking at what you're sort of watching all the time, what you're downloading um, and also um, it'll give you an IP from a country um, that you're sort of connecting to. So I'll show you that in a second off. I mean it, it illustrates it here really. This is your computer for example or your box or whatever's connected to the internet. Uh, goes to the router which is not actually drawn here and then your ISP will open up millions, you send millions of packets, that's how it works uh, down the internet uh, and your ISP can open this up and see the activity, what you're doing um, and obviously it's unencrypted at this stage so obviously they can see it and uh, you'll go down to wherever you are and off you go now when it's encrypted basically it'll make an SSH handshake which will give us exchanges a key with the server that you're connecting to and your computer or whatever device it's connected to 128 bit I think it is um, so as you can see the illustration here it just shows I mean it's, again it's only an illustration but it shows that your ISP cannot see what's going on or can anybody else really um, and then as I say this works it'll connect to say for example you, you want to kick on one of the servers in America it, from there onwards when you go out onto the internet from there it will show you that you're living in America or you've got an American IP or obviously if you connect on the German server or the Holland server or anything like that it will give you an IP from that particular country and I actually think there's 15 or 12 or 15 countries that you can actually connect to and within that country they've got X amount of servers so as I say it, it works very well, it works on lots of different devices you can see it works on Windows 8, Windows 7, Macs, iPads, tablets, phones uh, here's the gateways obviously one, two, three, four, five, six, six in America, Canada UK, Switzerland, Netherlands, Sweden, France, Germany, Romania, Hong Kong, Israel, Australia and Japan. So any of them basically can get an IP from that country. Um, you can see I'm actually connected on one at the moment on a, on a VPN. Okay, right. Um, cost. Um, Forty dollars a year, which I believe is about twenty-four, twenty-five pound a year. But I'd strongly recommend that everybody takes a month, just to make sure it works. Now, everybody has spoken very highly about this, apart from customers of Virgin. Now, I can't work out what's going on with Virgin. Some people it works for, some people it doesn't. So I can only assume it's something to do with the router or the actual package that you're on. So just be wary of that um, Virgin people are using Virgin for your internet. Um, although, as I say, I would recommend everybody just take it for a month and I can't stress enough, it's nothing to do with me. Any problems you've got, speak to them directly. They've got a live chat down there you can click on if you're having problems. Um, there's all different types of connections as well, although the ones we'll be concentrating on is the basic username and password. So, you'll, subs you'll subscribe um, for argument's sake for a month. I'll email you, send you a username and password. Um, and in the second half of this video, in a second, I'll show you what to do with that username and password and how it, how it, what advantages it is to you by opening up different uh, add-ons in XPMC. Um, right, I think I've covered everything I wanted to there, so I'm going to leave it there and uh, we're going to jump into um, onto the T8 now. Okay, welcome back to part two of the VPN tutorial. Um, just booting the box up now. This this second part is going to be done on the actual box. At this stage, you should have already received a username and password. Um, I must apologise. Box is just booting. I've not really done much preparation for this, and the part one was a few days ago. So, uh, if you just bear with me if I if I go over things twice because uh, it's been a while. I'd say a few days in between making part one and this part two. And as I say, I'm just about to go out, and I just wanted to get this out because somebody's actually asked me a question again today about it. So. 
Um, hopefully I won't sort of miss anything and hopefully I won't go over too much, too many things. First of all, we're just going to jump into XPMC. As I say, I've had no preparation here, so we might be doing some updates in the background and things really, so... Um, excuse me, pressing the wrong buttons. We're going to go over to... Well, we're going to System and go to Video Add-ons. They might have a shortcut set up for this already, it really does depend. But we'll go this way for now. We're going to go over to NBC Sports Live Extra, click on to that. Now at the moment obviously it's checking a few different information we're trying to connect to their server. Now we'll click into here. And the ones in blue are basically the ones that uh, are playing now. So we'll go to the Golf Channel. Now you see nothing's happened. I've clicked on it. Nothing's happened. So basically it would normally start working, spinning a little wheel up here. So we'll come out of there now and press the Home. Save, close the next BMC down. And then we'll go into Apps. And go to Connect PIA. Well, it says VPN actually, but this is PIA's own version. First of all, you need to select a server. Now, if you need an American IP, use Seattle, there's quite a few in here, New York, Toronto, Texas, uh, etc, California. Um, let's use Seattle as an example. So at the moment you've selected the server, type in the username, well, you won't see that obviously, but now we'll type in the password, and you would sit, tick on save credentials and click connect. Ask you do you trust this? Yes. Now you'll see at the top here it gives you status. Authentication. Now basically if you get authentication failure there obviously you're putting in something wrong either the username or password. And what I will mention also, it says connected now so we're actually connected to the VPN. Uh, what I would mention also is if you come to uh, private internet access uh, app and it crashes straight out uh, you need to update the version. Um, the odds are you're running an older version, so just something worth mentioning. So we'll come out back out of here, and we're we'll going back into XBMC and into the Golf Channel. Now this time it should start working. There we go. Now there's all sorts of sports on here. You can get all the NASCAR. I think you can get F1 on here as well, and obviously this is a golf. Now you can see this is in 1080, so this is full HD. It'll buffer just for a few seconds. Unless I've just pressed balls, I think actually, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not going to play that because of YouTube anyway, so we'll come out of there. Now what you'll do is you'll see the up and coming Premiership matches if you scroll down. Uh, West Ham Palace, Newcastle Villa, Burnley Swansea etc etc they're all in there now one thing worth mentioning as well which is a very very good thing that I tend to use if I'm out and about at a weekend if you come to featured you get full replays of all the premiership matches so say I'm to record anything you can always come back here and watch it it's great there's uh, some of the replays let's say from last weekend Swansea beat Manchester United you can watch that again if you want um, I think I'm going to leave it there. That's about I've covered everything I think I need to. Um, obviously, if you want to, as I say, I would use. Let me press home. I would use um, the local VPN. So, if you wanted to watch a movie now with the VPN to hide whatever's going on with your ISP, you would click disconnect because obviously you're using an, uh, an American one there. You would connect to the American server. You would click on servers. Come down to London or Southampton. Click on Southampton in this case. Uh, obviously credentials have been saved and you're just going to click connect and there onwards you're just using that VPN all the time um, to obviously connect to now you can actually set this up so it, it um, automatically opens up for you uh, although I choose not to that's entirely up to yourselves there's some different settings in here as you can see uh, connect on boot etc so that's left with yourselves I'll let you leave leave yourselves or play around with that um, 
<coughs> hopefully that's been of some use to you and as I say I must apologise if I've gone over something two or three times <coughs> and excuse me for coughing uh, hopefully I'll catch you on the next one and it's been of some use to you thanks for watching